We are now ready to practice ranking molecules according to their stability or according to their reactivity using the REO concept. So we're gonna start with a set of four anions and we are going to rank them based on their relative stability. And to do this, we are going to use our trick REO. Remember when you're applying REO, you use the four steps, A-R-I-O, in order. You don't just kind of skip around. So we start with the letter A, which represents the atom. And in this, we are specifically looking at which atom is holding the negative or positive formal charge in the molecule. So for these molecules from left to right, the first molecule has a carbon atom with a negative formal charge. Then we have an oxygen with a negative formal charge, carbon again with a negative formal charge, and a nitrogen with a negative formal charge. What we need to do now is go look at the periodic table and see where these atoms sit relative to each other on the periodic table. If you recall from when I explained the REO rules, if the atoms are in the same row on the periodic table, we're going to use their electronegativity to predict stability. If they are in the same column on the periodic table, we are going to use their size to predict stability. So let's go back to our periodic table and let's see where those elements are relative to each other. They are all in the same row and they are all side by side. So that means that we are going to be using their electronegativity to predict stability. The most electronegative of these is going to be the best at holding a negative formal charge. So oxygen is going to be the best at holding the negative formal charge, which means it's the most stable and then nitrogen, and then carbon is last. So that means our molecule with an O negative formal charge is the most stable. Let's give it the number one for these, for these four molecules. And the nitrogen is the next most stable, so that means it is number two. Of the remaining two molecules, they both have a carbon atom with a negative formal charge. We cannot distinguish them in terms of stability using the A in REO. So that means we have to move on to the next letter to um, rank these two molecules. And the next letter R stands for resonance. And this is a yes or no question. Is there resonance, yes or no? And if the answer is yes, how much resonance is there? So for the first molecule, if you analyze this first molecule here, there is no resonance structure that we can draw for this molecule at all. It is not an option. We only have one lone pair of electrons to work with, and no matter where we try to put that lone pair of electrons, we will end up with a carbon atom that has way too many bonds. So for example, if we try to move that lone pair of electrons to make a carbon-carbon double bond. Don't forget we've got a bunch of hydrogens out here. So if we try to move that lone pair of electrons up to make a double bond right here, we're gonna end up with a carbon atom that has five bonds, which is way too many bonds for a carbon. And there's no way that we can get around that. So because of that, this molecule has no resonance at all, none which means that if this molecule has any resonance, even if it's bad, any resonance at all, it's gonna be stable, more stable. So this molecule looks like a real good candidate for resonance because not only do we have a lone pair of electrons, but we have double bonds all over the place that we can work with. What could we do with those double bonds? We could really do anything we wanted to because remember, we don't have to come up with a good resonance structure. We just have to come up with anything. Anything is better than nothing. So we could take one of these lone pairs of electrons and move it onto any atom that is reasonable, put that double bond on, or the lone pair of electrons onto another atom. What would that give us? Another lone pair, which is gonna make another negatively charged carbon and leave this with a positively charged carbon. And you guys know that there's all kinds of things wrong with this resonance structure that I just drew. We have adjacent atoms with opposite formal charges. We have three total formal charges in the molecule. This is problematic, but it's something. 
And something is better than nothing, even if that something is absolute garbage, which means that that molecule with resonance is more stable than the molecule without.